Today, I'll go ahead with problems of theory of equations. Sun Sage. Sun Sage after 5 years is x plus 5. For both the ages, we should add 5. Simplify this. 3, 3 is a 9x minus 12 is equal to 8x minus 8. If ages are in the ratio 3 is to 4 means, let 3x and 4x be the present ages of the brothers. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, I'll go ahead with problems of theory of equations. So we'll discuss five more questions of the exercise 6.1. Statement problems, they'll give statement and we have to convert this word problem into mathematical equations to solve. Three years ago, father's age, father was four times as old as his son. After five years, he will be three times as old as his son. Find their present ages. So now they are comparing father's age with son's age. So that is why start the solution by assuming son's age. Let x be the age of son. Let x be the age of son. Now they told father was four times as old as his son. So therefore father's age is father's age is equal to father was four times as old as his son means 4x. So now present ages let x be the present age of son and father is four times son's age means four times x 4x. So, father's age is 4x and son's age is x. These are the present ages. Now, 5 after 5 years, after 5 years, he will be 3 times as old as his son. Means after 5 years, after 5 years, means I should add 5 years. Father's age, father's age becomes what? 4x plus 5. This is age of the father. After 5 years, earlier it was 4x. After 5 years, it will become 4x plus 5. He will be 3 times as old as his son. So, is equal to 3 times as old as his son, son's age. What will be son's age? See, after 5 years, son's age also becomes x plus 5. After 5 years, son's age is x plus 5. But father's age is 3 times son's age. So, this is father's age. After 5 years, father's age is 4x plus 5. Is means is equal to. 3 times means 3 into son's age. Son's age after 5 years is x plus 5. For both the ages, we should add 5. For x, we should make it x plus 5. For 4x, we should make it 4x plus 5. They gave a relation. So, they have given 4x plus 5. This is given. What is given? Father's age is 3 times as old as his son after 5 years. So, 4x plus 5 is equal to 3 times x plus 5. Now, we solve this to get the answer. Now, we have 4x plus 5 is equal to 3 times x plus 5. Simplify this. So, it will become 4x plus 5 is equal to 3x plus 3 5 is a 15. Rearrange. So, it will become 4x minus 3x is equal to 15 minus 5. 4x minus 3x is x. x is equal to 10. So, we got the value of x. What is meant by x? Sun's age. Therefore, 4x becomes 4 times 10. 4 into 10, 40. So, sun age is x 10 years. Therefore, present age of present age of sun is x years. That is 10 years. And present age of father present age of father, we assume present father's age is 4x is equal to 4x that is 40 years. So, answer is 10 years and 40 years. Son's age is 10 years and father's age is 40 years. So, dear students, reading the question and converting it into equation is important. When you read the question, they are comparing father's age with son's age. So, that is why assume son's age. So, let x be the son's age. Father's age is means father's age is 4 times son's age, 4x. These are the present ages. Then they told after 5 years. After 5 years means you should add 5 years for both. After 5 years, 
both the ages will be increased by 5. So, after 5 years, son's age is x plus 5 and father's age is 4x plus 5. But they told father's age is 3 times son's age. So, after 5 years means 4x plus 5 is 3 times x plus 5. This is the equation. If you can create this equation, you know how to solve this. We have solved and we got x. Then you find x and 4x. x is son's age, 4x is father's age. That's it. Okay, now we will go to the question number 39. The percentages of two brothers are in the ratio 3 is to 4. And 3 is to 4. So, means 3 by 4. There, 4 years ago, their ages were in the ratio 2 is to 3. Find their present ages. So, now we do not know the ages. So, let 3x and 4x be the present ages. And they told their ages 4 years ago. 4 years ago means subtract 4. 4 years ago, their ages will be 3x minus 4 and 4x minus 4 be their ages. And they give ratio. Given uh, the ratio is 2 is to 3 means the 3x minus 4 divided by 4x minus 4 is ratio is 2 is to 3, 2 by 3. 2 is to 3 means what? 2 by 3. Ratio means divided by. Now, cross multiply and simplify. If I cross multiply 3 into 3x minus 4 is equal to 2 into 4x minus 4. Simplify this 3, 3 is a 9x minus 12 is equal to 8x minus 8. Rearrange, so you will get 9x minus 8x is equal to 12 minus 8. And x is equal to 12 minus 8 is 4. x you will get 4. So, therefore, their present ages are, so present ages are 3 is 3x and 4x. That is 3 into 4 and 4 into 4. That is 12 years and 4 for the 16 years. These are the present ages. These are the ages of the brothers. If you take 12 by 16, you will get 3 by 4. And if you subtract 4, 12 minus 4 divided by 16 minus 4, you will get the required value. You can verify. So, verify. Whatever is given will verify. So, verification. So, if I take the ratio 12 by 16, you know 4 3 is a 4 4 is a, I will get 3 is to 4. And if I subtract 4, 12 minus 4 by 16 minus 4, I should get the same ratio. 12 minus 4 is 8 and 16 minus 4 is also 12 minus 4 is 8 and 16 minus 4 is 12. Both are divisible by 4. 4 2 is a 4 3 is a 2 is to 3. So, after you subtract, you should give 2 is to 3. We got 2 is to 3. And when you take ratio 3 is to 4. So, this is a verification not required. So, part of you got it. If ages are in the ratio 3 is to 4 means, let 3x and 4x be the present ages of the brothers. And 4 years before means, subtract 4 from both, 3x minus 4 and 4x minus 4. Ratio is, ratio is what? 2 is to 3. So, they are in the first, they are in the ratio 3 is to 4 means, so you should take one age is 3x, the other one is 4x. 3x and 4x are the ages of the brothers. This is the assumption from which you can get the answer. Next, we have two sisters. So, whenever they give ratio, you can take unknown x or k. Two sisters have their monthly income in the ratio 7 is to 5. And their monthly spendings are in the ratio, expenditures are in the ratio 5 is to 3. Saves 60 per month, find their income. See, income ratio they give. So, let us assume, let 7x and 5x, 7 is to 5 is the income ratio means, so if they give ratio, I will assume, let 7x and 5x be the income, be the income of sisters, income of two sisters. This is our assumption. Now, they give their spending means expenditure. 
expenditure means what income minus saving so expenditure so you know how much we expend expenditure means in income or savings you know savings is what income minus expenditure or if you want expenditure in the income you remove what is called as in income remove savings then remaining is what expenditure so expenditure ratio they give so income minus saving what is the income 7x minus 60 savings ratio means divided by second person's income is 5x minus 60 this is the ratio of expenditure is what 5 is to 3 writing this is important here we have a little commerce expenditure means what how much i spent how much i got minus how much i saved remaining everything is what expenditure expenditure is income minus saving income is 7x and saving is 60 rupees in 7x remove 60 and second person's income is 5x remove 60 this is expenditure uh, in expenditure ratio means expenditure of first person by expenditure of second person is 5 by 3 now solve this 7x minus 60 by 7x minus 60 by 5x minus 60 is equal to 5 by 3 cross multiply 3 into 7x minus 60 equal to 5 into 5x minus 60 7 3 is a 21x minus 180 25x minus 30 300 sorry and here simplify this rearrange bring 300 to this side so 300 minus 180 is equal to 25x minus 21x so this is uh, 4x and here further if you subtract 120 so solve for x so 4x is 120 and x is what 120 by 4 x is 30 now you got x but they want you to find find their income income is what 5x and 7x and 5x therefore income or incomes are 7x and 5x that is 7 into 30 and 5 into 30 rupees that is 210 rupees and 150 rupees this is their income you take the ratio 210 by 150 you will get the required ratio 7 is to 5 and if you take the ratio of expenditure you will get the same so you have 12 x plus 8 y is 204 rupees and similarly 9 x plus 6 y 9 x plus 6 y is equal to 153 so here 12 6 and 9 8 both are same so determinant becomes zero it is inconsistent here using the unknowns we cannot find this is given in the problem because quotients will become same both will vanish so it is difficult to solve reason is we say this so since term is inconsistent why because this forms uh, same quotients if i multiply this 12 6 all of you know what is 12 6 72 and what is 9 8 72 so therefore quotients become same so we cannot solve this the system is inconsistent we cannot solve the uh, linear uh, equations but this is a method x be the cost of statistics book y be the cost of mathematics book like that and we say system is inconsistent you can leave it okay now we got the income ratio by this I conclude the class. Thanks for attending. I will see you in my next session. Thank you.